What's up, guys? The Bear Gamer here, and welcome back to another episode of Planet Base. Let's get rid of those things. So, the base has been going really, really well. It actually got to the point where we actually were overproducing in food. Um, I've kind of rebalanced it a tiny bit. We're down back to 600. We got almost um, to the point where I was almost at 3,000 food, like all like vegetables, and about like almost 500 meals. And it was um. It was kind of annoying because it was taking up all my storage, so I literally shut down all production and food. I've now just um, re-enabled it. I only had them like producing food here, so these three have been off. So um, I've done a bit of work to the place, obviously, and that is. Um, but literally, what happened is that all these things were like full of food, which was just clogging up. I couldn't make enough metal because they weren't really knowing where to put it, and um, we're having a bit of a slump in um, production. Um, this is being full of food. That's a bit of a overflow this one started getting full I activated this one and then I decided to build a tiny bit out here to uh, kind of finish off this area so we've got all these um, dorms here which are working really real well to our advantage then we've got all these um, leisure centers so we've got you know exercising places for them to go I'll eventually make them all pretty add some plants some TVs and all that sort of stuff we've got the good old pyramid right here and uh, I believe the monolith is going to go probably right here. And I will build that one, but I don't know if I want to build it this episode because, like, we've got quite a lot of metal and plastic, and that takes, like, th like, look, like, when you look at it and how expensive it is, like, it's cool. But yeah, see, 10 plastic, 30 um, metal, and 10 of um, the semiconductors, and we've only got one free. So, very expensive build. Um, so then what I did is I decided to actually put some more storage over here, and we're gonna actually have probably storage up to here. This is just gonna be like an overflow storage um, to fill the area, and eventually if you know if we have to put more stuff there, we'll put more stuff there instead, and we can get rid of it. So what I did is I actually connected uh, this area. So this area is now fully connected on this side as well, which is great. Um, and there's nothing really out here. I was thinking of putting, because the thing is, I've been kind of under the notion that I need to always have 300 beds. I don't think I need exactly 300 beds because not everyone is going to be sleeping at the same time. So we might, I think I have enough to do about 147, 157. That's why the population stopped at 155. <clears throat> so. I might only have to build like one more dorm area, kind of like this, and we're done, which I'm gonna do probably in this area here, because we're running out of space a bit, so we can go this way, and then we're gonna hit the invisible wall over here, and then when you look down here, the power is just around the corner, so <clears throat> we're needing more and more power for this place, um, and as well as that, um, we've got all these water, um, extractors here that I don't know if I need all of them as of yet some of them can go eventually but we got all these windmills here and then we've got our power collectors over here which um I doing okay but then we've got this area in here that's empty and I'm leaving this empty because I'd like to extend the canteen and put more food storage and sitting area but then we run the risk of do we have enough power storage so that's why I'm kind of leaving it because it's um like we've got enough power to produce for the power storage. Like literally, um, these things shoot up instantly now when um this when that's at full power. It's ridiculous. Like see this we're we're using one thousand kilowatts, but we're producing three thousand. So that's great. Um, but yeah, so we've got a bit of work to do as in that regard. So unfortunately, as well, I've noticed now it only happens when I record now when I look in this direction it lags. I don't know why, I think it's just because of the amount of robots and people that there are, because you know, we've got quite a lot, and we're going to eventually double in population, and robots are pretty much at their max, they're never going to get above 100 um, or so, but yeah, it's um, it's looking good at the moment, and I'm really happy with how everything is, so we're going to actually get constructing some more beds and everything, because this is actually a tiny bit of an issue, I didn't really notice this. Uh, I thought this was some. This will be something that disappears, but this little mound is the issue that I'm worried about. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get. I'm going to turn it this way so I don't get the lag, because um, unfortunately it just lags on camera for some reason now. Uh, so we're going to get another cabin, and I would like to put a cabin in here. It just snapped. There we go. So we're going to put a cabin there. They're going to do that now. I would like to get 
more storage. So actually this episode, you're actually gonna probably witness things actually being built for once, which is a bit of a change. Um, so then that's gonna get built here. And I'm just gonna do this for storage. Like these six storage bays are the max that we're gonna have for storage in this area. It's just, um, yeah, we needed, we needed more. We really did. So if I do this, then that goes there. And then we hopefully, I'm hoping I can get another oxygen bay over here, but it looks like that's not going to be the case. So we're going to have to somehow ground this down. What connection was built? Oh, they did that one there. And if you haven't noticed or heard, I'll grab her. Ah, I've got our dog in here today. So say hello. <laughs> She's just wandering around sniffing. So, um, She's not as annoying as when she was a smaller puppy. She was always a little bit of a barker or like if you didn't give her enough attention. She sometimes does that, but um, you can still kind of have her in the room now when I record. So with that being said, when we hit this line here, which we're going to, because the oxygen bays kind of can't link into each other, which is really annoying at this angle because um, it needs to be just like a tiny bit off, um, which is really annoying. So, um, I'm not sure how we're gonna do this. Like this way, um, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how I wanna cap it. We've got so many beds this side. I wanna put more beds this side. Um, and pretty much up until this point is where we're gonna build buildings. And then when we hit here, then that's it. We're gonna to have to make an entrance that goes somewhere near here that can connect across. And um, yeah, pretty much that's that's what we're gonna to have to deal with. Um, so yeah, let's um, hit this into fast forward as well. And let's just turn the camera because it just lags too much when I'm recording, unfortunately. I might have to drop the quality down um, during the recordings now uh, because of that. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna sit here and I'm just gonna eat away at this. So we're gonna just try and eat away at this mountain that's kind of near us. It's annoying to kind of do because it takes a while to actually kind of get get it going. Um, let's see. Normally it's best to do with like the base pads because if you can do like that and then if you get to do that or something, sometimes you can then connect them and then that cuts it like right in half. That's what we kind of want it to do. But yeah, so we're going to have to take that down a tiny bit. These guys are using obviously a lot of our metal and everything, which is good. Um, food is kind of not growing anymore. It's actually kind of going down, which is a bit of a worry. Um, I do have a lot of biologists, so I'm not too worried because the food's going down because they're making a lot of meals. So all the meals are getting made at the moment and everyone's eating. I think it's that prime time of eating, but we still got 600 food. Um, I'd be very surprised if we starved, um, just due to the way the game worked. I, I don't know why, if I just stop it, they wouldn't go back to being good again. So that would be a bit of a concern if um, we have all of a sudden have a food issue. We have had it in the past, but we've got almost 50 biologists. So we actually shouldn't really be having a um, an issue like that. <coughs> so this guy's building this. He's almost finished that last storage area. So then we've just got this big bay of pretty much seven storage areas, which, um, Will be nice to build and extend um, how much this guy is pretty much ready to build. So we're going to connect you here, and then I'm actually going to do the same here. So then they're connected. Now I'd like, as I said, I want to get the um, oxygen tank, um, not oxygen tank, uh, or oxygen generator in here, but um, need to eat away at that a bit more. So what we're going to do. It's really annoying because like this is like at an annoying angle. Like, I can kind of, if I put everything here at an angle, it might straighten up a tiny bit. So if I do that, then I'm going to have to do the same on this side. And it's going to have to go at an angle, which is really annoying. Because I don't want it to go at an angle. All right, so I'm not gonna do that. I need to figure out a way of getting that to work without that happening. So what we're gonna do over here is um, we're gonna build to like here 
and then this is gonna stop. So I don't know what I'm gonna put in this corner. I was thinking um, more leisure. We don't have any bars or anything like that, but the problem with bars is they use up a lot of food. So um, I don't want alcohol to become their prime, you know, making facility or whatever. I want them to be actually pretty clever with um, what they do with um, the stuff. Uh, how much spare do I have? I've got 43. I have one free or whatever. So even if I tried to build the monolith today, it won't get built because these things need to get made and then it'll just get done off camera. And I don't want it to be done off camera. So with that being said, they're done. Um, I'm thinking, should I split it up with some more multi-domes? Or do we want more canteens? There's no point really having the canteens over here because they're so far away. Um, but by having the multi-domes, it just allows water to be a bit closer, so I might do some more multi-domes. Um, I could delete that one there, this one here, and bring him across a bit if possible. That actually might be the best way of doing it, um, to fix that. So what I'm going to do is we're going to make... Because so, how many multi... We've got six multi-domes, so maybe I do build bars. Yeah, let's build bars. Let's make these guys a bit happy. So we're going to put a bar here. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side and put a bar here. And pretty much after this, pretty much everything else is going to be, all oh, this is, this area here is going to be another um, living quarters because it's a nice big area to kind of do a looping sort of design with um, the, uh, what do you call it? With the oxygen generator. So really, I can play in our advantage tiny bit. This little bit here, we might fill with something else. It might not be rooms. We might just leave these one, two, three, four, five, six rooms here and then have more rooms over here. And we might fill this pocket with something. I don't know what, but just something. Because um, then I can't connect to you, which is really, really annoying. Um, It is really annoying that I can't connect to that. Uh, gonna have to figure a way of doing something. We could put like a um, satellite maybe. No, it doesn't fit. That's really annoying how they kind of do that. Um, eh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure out what we can do. Maybe a telescope. We haven't actually built a telescope yet. Yeah, I really should put a telescope down. Um, that's the next thing I'm gonna be looking into it is a telescope. But um, yeah, with that being built, at least we have some sort of um, what do you call it? At least some sort of more entertainment from I don't. I'm not a massive fan of the bars, but um, instead of putting the drinks machine, um, I won't put the drinks machines in yet. But what I will do is if we go, oh yeah, um, do this. If we hold shift. It makes it so much easier. So if we do that, and then let's put um, water at the entrance, like so, oh, instead of there, recycle that. Uh, where do I want the water instead? If we put the water maybe directly behind the tables, and then we can put some TVs in after I have the design of the connecting areas, because um, there's no point putting it up and then um, one of these areas, one of these linking areas deletes it off the wall. There's no point doing that just yet. So that's okay. So they're going to build that. They're going to slowly build this, which is good. Um, metal, we still have plenty. So that's great. So what I probably will do is off camera, um, in between this episode and next one, is probably sort out this area here, which is the next and final kind of dormitory sort of area. Um, and you know, no, like I might eventually actually have, I might put another manufacturing line up here. I don't know. Um, I was thinking about it. Um, it depends. It just depends. It depends on power storage and all that sort of stuff because um, we're going to eventually double in population. That's going to happen over the next few episodes. It could happen in the next one. I don't know how many episodes we have left until the end of the series, but we're not too far away. So um, we do need to start looking at that. So... With that being said, I'm going to end the episode off here, guys, and I'm going to try and get the dorms done uh, off camera, the final set, and then we'll be good to go in the next episode. So as usual, guys, thank you all for watching. Hope you have an awesome day.
and I'll catch you guys in the next one. So see you later, guys.